Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we got a little NIM cryptocurrency news, and we'll uh, see how the light's doing and what my rig's been doing. Be back in a bit. Okay, real quick. Before we go on guys, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. Um, the enter to win video was yesterday. That will be um, below. So you want to head after this video is done, just head over to there. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then enter your BTC wallet address on that video, not this one. All right. So with that, let's get into NIM news. All right, so NIM news. Now, this is kind of related to um, Pundi X. Um, I did a video on that yesterday. I'll put that up. should be popping up here shortly. Um, so NIM, Gordon Christian on Australia's first cryptocurrency town. I thought it was pretty neat. Um, on August 8th, NIM broadcast an interview of Akasha in Dream, NIMS Australian Communications Lead in conversation with Gordon Christian, the NIMS Queensland Regional Head. During the interview, the NIM leads discussed Australia's first ever cryptocurrency hub, 1770 Agnes Water, which is situated on the Queensland coast. Gordon is the visionary behind the daring project. Gordon Christian stated that the extraordinary thing about 1770 at the moment is that NIM was fortunate enough to partner with Travel by Bit to roll out Australia's first digital currency town. The NIM regional team has led the way just not just hosts in Australia but in the world at large in successfully bringing mass adoption of cryptocurrencies to one concentrated place. He then added anyone who wants to spend their cryptocurrency can come to Agnes Water at 1770 and we have full travel experience just by using digital currency. Uh, the Travel by Bit payment system is a point of sale system, which is like Pundiax, uh, which enables consumers to use cryptocurrencies for payments throughout the city of 1770. There are about 35 businesses who are actively accepting cryptocurrencies as payment. Uh, Christian further confirmed that the cus customers can either book through their travel agency using cryptocurrency or use a currency exchange system at a local store using their phone. This would transfer the customer's cryptocurrency into fiat at the point of sale. In terms of locals accepting the digital currency made of uh, mode of payment, Gordon said, when we introduced the idea of the mode of payment and how it was going to bring more tourism to our area, the local stakeholders and retailers felt that was a great idea from the start. He further added, so within a short period of time, we had 10 people, and the next thing we knew, we had around 20 people, business owners. It didn't take much longer for people to get on board with the idea. Uh, Kristen believes that through this step, 1770 is digitally ready. He stated that a number of initiatives are being set up to get tourists and locals involved in blockchain technology and in cryptocurrencies. NIM is in talks with local schools that would benefit from the collaboration in terms of education, educating the youngsters about the cryptocurrency space. Christian concluded by saying, uh, I think it is interesting to note that this place has opened up lots of opportunities. Uh, it goes to show that even a small regional town in Queensland can be in the blockchain business. Uh, it's pretty. This means this means that something is growing, something that the global connection and impact is growing. So, more good news in the crypto space. Another project that's actually doing something out there in the world, not just uh, not just a lot of talk, which is why I like Pundi X. Um, so, here's another little article. This is from a couple months ago. First NIM-based point of sale terminal reveals. Pundi X will ship 20,000 NIM based XPOS devices. So Pundi X is using like NIM as the backbone uh, for their point of sale um, transactions, which I thought was pretty cool um, in the first place. So that's two projects 
working together for real real world um, real world issues that can be solved and bringing cryptocurrency to everybody out there it's not it's not all talk like a lot of these coins are they're just you know speculation you don't know if they're really gonna pan out or not well these guys are actually panning out Pundi X is panning out they're shipping out these point-of-sale devices and they're using NIMS blockchain to help do that to help run these point-of-sale uh, systems uh, we are excited to unveil a new branch of XPOS smart point-of-sale terminal running solely on the NIM blockchain called NIM XPOS. The new NIM XPOS device will be connected to the NIM blockchain via plugins, via X plugins. The Pundi X platform API that allows blockchain developers to connect to digital wallets and create smart contract requests. So is this another little article on it um, here's NIMS website use cases I mean just all kinds of use cases uh, I'll put a link down below but you can go through it and just see financial payments create your create your own cryptocurrency uh, I may look into that myself call it uh, fish coin is there already a fish coin out there I don't know <laughs> uh, mobile payments Equity markets, escrow services, liquid asset, uh, make your own PayPal. It's just all kinds of stuff. I, I really, I had heard of NIM before, but I never really looked into it until today. Um, they got a lot of things going. They've been around since 2015, and um, it's a really great project. Uh, full disclosure, um, I don't get paid to do anything. Uh, with these, you know, I'm not getting paid by NIM or Pundi X or anything else like that. I just do a little research myself and I, I try and find projects that are actually doing something, have either a physical product like Pundi X or are actually being used out there in the real world and it's not just an idea. Okay, so that's kind of how I go about um, picking coins that I want to invest myself in. So NIM right now, let's go look. It's number 17 last I checked. Yeah, number 17 at 12 cents right now. So I'm thinking about picking up, you know, maybe $50 worth. I think it's 300 something coins. So I may get about $50 worth of NIM and just, just hold it. I mean, that's another project that's, um, that's actually doing something, not just not just talking and running its mouth uh, like a lot of these things are so with that let's get into uh, what my rigs did here um, sitting at totals to light mine 16,391 with a whopping value of three dollars and twenty cents which but I expected that I uh, got 1.59 Ethereum Classic this week, sitting at 24.27. Total value mine $32.15. So that is pretty much jiving, even though it's a down market. 1.61 last week, uh, 1.667 the week before. So we will probably be right on, or maybe even surpass last week's mine total uh, as far as this week, and. If you look at last week, when Bitcoin was at 7,300, Ethereum classes was at 1,506, and it was actually up this week, 1,521. So, in a big down market, this is one of the only coins uh, that's actually holding its value, and if anything, has gone up a little bit. Bitcoin sitting at 6,488. I went ahead and updated the numbers. My old value before I updated updated the numbers was 592. It's sitting right now at 515, so I've lost $77 in like the last two days as far as total value mined. Uh, another bad week, unfortunately. I think it's just going to get worse, to be honest with you. It seems like, from what I, I'm not a technical analysis guy, but it looks like it's Bitcoin is consolidating, and if I were to guess, it'd be consolidating around four or five thousand dollars just from what I see as far as the charts I've been looking at I watch a couple guys uh, crypto Kirby is one I watch a lot 
Uh, he's got a pretty good crypto channel, and um, he does technical analysis every day. So I watch him, and he's always got the charts up. And it just seems to be consolidating right in that range, um, three, four, five thousand range. So if it actually consolidates right there and then starts its its curve back up, that would be good. But it's just um, it's just not a good time right now, especially not a good time to sell. So I'm holding everything. I'm holding in there though, still mining. Um, so I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, just put that down below. Uh, if anyone else out there heard about the NIM or the NIM project, you guys holding the uh, any NIM coins? Um, looks to be a pretty good project. Uh, probably be picking up some here uh, maybe today. Um, again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'll be sure to get back to you. That enter to win video for Bitcoin Fridays will be uh, in the first comment below. So go over to that video. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and enter your BTC wallet address. All right? Also, if you guys like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Okay, guys? I will see you guys tomorrow, and we will uh, pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. Take care, guys. Bye.